أباحوا العرى they allowed nudity and they, they eliminated or they, they cancelled the Muslims women's dress and the hijab they brought the enemies of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to their countries to roam around plotting all sorts of plots between different sects in the societies they controlled the mosques and they controlled the times of the prayers set by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and practiced by Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam those people they humiliated the scholars of our deen the scholars in science and they glorified and they honored those who bring the laughs and those of entertainments they defied the laws of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give them time give them a respite after a respite hoping they will come back to their senses and they protect their own people rather than western gods indeed these people they ruled their own people the rulers of the muslim world they ruled their, 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 their people with transgression with zulm no justice was there ayya al-ikhwat al-mu'minun fa haythuma wujid al-adl haythuma wujid al-adl wal-islah wujid al-istiqrar wal-izdihar wa haythuma wujid al-zulm wal-fasad wujid al-takhalluf wal-fasad ayya al-ikhwat al-mu'minun wherever you find justice and good reform you find stability and the prosperity but whenever you find transgression zulm and no ad you will find nothing but backwardness and the destruction Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made the zulm a reason لخراب العمران وضعف الأمم وسقوط المجتمعات الإنسانية الله سبحانه وتعالى make it that way that the zulm transgression getting away from the truth is the reason for the destruction of communities weakness of, of countries and the communities and the destruction for the, 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 the civil societies. Look what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the glorious Quran. It is not the practice of your Lord to destroy communities unjustly while their people, people's conduct is right. That's not the pattern of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In another tafsir, explanation for this statement of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, some scholars they said it meant that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not destroy the people because of their dhulm. That is joining others with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That is because of their kuf. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does this, does not do that as long as their conduct is good is right their conduct is right and the Sayyidina Al-Imam Ibn Taymiyyah Shaykh Al-Islam Ibn Taymiyyah radiyallahu anhu arda he said inna allaha yuqeemu al-dawla al-adila walaw kanat kafira wa yukhdil al-dawla al-zalima walaw kanat muslima Shaykh Al-Islam Ibn Salmiyyah radiyallahu anhu arda he said that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala established, set good the country that deals with justice and the good conduct, even if it is a kafir country. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will humiliate and destroy the people who are dealing among themselves with dhulm, transgression, and the injustice, even if they are Muslims. Ayya al-ikhwat al-mu'minun 
كم عذب في سجون بلاد المسلمين من الدعاة والعلماء لقول كلمة الحق How many scholars been humiliated and suffered and tortured in Muslim jails in our Muslim countries كم من أعراض هتكت وعمائم بيضاء ضربت وأرجل تورمت وجلدت وأرواح وأنفس أزهقت How many honors been violated and how many white turbans of scholars have been beaten and how many feet been swollen by whipping and how many people murdered unjustly أيها الإخوة المؤمنون Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is watchful over everything that happened in this world. لا يخفى عليه خافية سبحانه وتعالى. There is nothing hidden from him, the exalted in might. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when he takes care of those tyrants who forgot their main role to rule the people with justice and to make their societies prosper and they advance, but humiliating their scientists and their, co their scholars for the sake of others against their own people who were there in the first, in, to help in the first place. فَقُطِعَ دَابُرُ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا الَّذِينَ ظَلَمُوا وَالْحَمْدُ لِلَّهِ رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave this final statement there and they said, Indeed, as of those the wrongdoers, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the last remnants been cut off. Walhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Allahu ghalibun ala amri. Don't ever think that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but He is well aware and in full control of all His affairs in this world of ours. Allahu ghalibun ala amri. Walakin akthar al nasi la ya'lamun. But most of the people know it not. أقول قولي هذا وأستغفر الله وإليكم أستغفر الحمد لله الواحد الأحد الفرد الصمد الذي لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا أحد الحمد لله الخالق الباري المصور له الأسماء الحسنى يسبح له ما في السماوات والأرض وهو العزيز الحكيم اللهم اغفر للمسلمين والمسلمات والمؤمنين والمؤمنات اللهم انصر الإسلام في مشارق الأرض ومغاربها اللهم انصرهم في مشارق الأرض ومغاربها يا رب العالمين اللهم انزل لهم جندا من عندك يا أرحم الراحمين واكتب لهم نصرا من فضلك يا رب العالمين اللهم انصر إخوان المجاهدين في الحق على أرض فلسطين اللهم انصرهم في الحق على في أرض أفغانستان وفي الشيشان وفي العراق ولبنان وسوريا واليمن يا رب العالمين اللهم انصر إخواننا في ليبيا يا رب العالمين وانصرهم في كل البلاد الإسلامية وغير الإسلامية يا رب العالمين اللهم انصرهم على أرض الهند يا رب العالمين وانصرهم في, البل... في البنغلاديش يا رب العالمين اللهم انصرهم جميعا يا رب العالمين وقوهم يا رب العالمين اللهم ثبت أقدامهم يا أرحم الراحمين وأكرمهم بالنصر المبين يا رب العالمين اللهم أكرمنا ولا تهنا وأعطنا ولا تحرمنا وارض عنا يا رب العالمين ربنا اغفر لنا ذنوبنا وإسرافنا في أمرنا وثبت أقدامنا وانصرنا على القوم الكافرين ربنا اغفر لنا ولإخواننا الذين سبقونا بالإيمان ولا تجعل في قلوبنا غلا للذين آمنوا ربنا إنك رؤوف رحيم إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما صلى الله عليك يا سيدي يا رسول الله صلى الله عليك وعلى آلك وصحبك أجمعين وأقم الصلاة